Hello! Welcome back to Star Citizen. Today I've got the Consolidated Outland Nomad, one of the starter ships as, uh, as well, but it's a little more expensive than the, uh, the Consolidated Outland Mustang Alpha. I'm going to call this sort of a, a second tier uh, starter ship. Uh, tier 1, the lowest tier, being the Aurora and the Pisces C, uh, C8X uh, and the uh, Mustang Alpha. And, they're, and the, the Mustang and their they're Mustang variants, the Aurora variants, they're all kind of on the same tier. Uh, this one is, is a, a solid one tier up from that. And the, uh, the closest competitor, I think, to the Nomad in terms of a starter vessel for new players at a very reasonable price, but it's a cut above the, the very basic ships. Uh, I think the, the closest competitor is the Aegis Avenger. And I already did a little uh, interview, a little uh, review of the Avenger. Um, the Avenger is a solid, solid ship, and I gave it very good marks. I gave it a very good, good review. So the uh, Nomad here, you may notice I've got a little ground vehicle perched into the uh, into the uh, cargo bay, and we can open and close that cargo bay and that uh, the ground vehicle, the ROC, seems like it's staying there pretty well. So that's good. That's how I got it on there. I got it on by driving it up that ramp and then you slide it in. Now the there's a lot of the starter vessels, a lot of the, the starter ships are kind of, uh, they kind of brand themselves as freighters. But I think that the Nomad is the only real starter vehicle, uh, smaller than the Cutlass, that you can really call a freighter. Uh, the cargo space on this one, it's got more than three times the cargo of, uh, it's got about three times the cargo of a, uh, of an Aegis Avenger. Oh, the Avenger Titan, I should say. Uh, it's It's got over 20 SCU. I can't remember exactly how much. I can't remember if it's 24 or 27 SCU. But that's quite a lot compared to some of those other you know, freighters that have 2 or 3 or 4 or, or even 6 or 7 SCU of cargo space. So this is plenty of space inside to um, to do some cool stuff. see we're gonna go find some minerals to mine oh did we already find some oh no that's a that's a rock that's too big for us to mine with the tools we have on hand Now, one thing I don't like about this ship is that at uh, at high speeds in atmosphere, it has a tendency to nose down. I'll show you. So once we, we top out, You'll see it, it just noses down, right? Because it's trying to reach a top speed and the, the high end thrusters are, uh, are overpowering the lower uh, thrusters. Uh, I don't like that. that it's, it's something that caused me to crash the other night when I was uh, piloting one of these vehicles. Um, 
but all in all, if you're looking for a starter vehicle that's going to be a good freighter, uh, in my opinion, there's not really a whole lot of competition for dedicated freight movement. Uh, it's got a, a fair amount of firepower. It's got three Badger uh, laser repeaters, which are on, on gimbals. You could upgrade them to, to size two repeaters if you were willing to uh, take them off of gimbals and put them on fixed mode. I kind of don't recommend that because the, uh, the Nomad is not really all that nimble. There we go. There's some minerals. So one of the nice things about the uh, the Nomad is that it is, it's the absolute smallest vehicle that can hold the ROC, uh, which is that that vehicle I have on the back, that ground vehicle. Anything smaller than this, and and you just cannot hold that uh, that vehicle. The only the next size up vehicle that can hold the ROC is the uh, Cutlass, I believe. Uh, and then the from uh, above that, there's the now we're going to open the cargo bay from back here. You can't access the cargo bay from this side. Um, but I, I can show you around the, the cabin. It's got a snug little cabin. Uh, but the Nomad does have everything you need. It is it is no longer the smallest ship that has all of these things. Um, I, the Cutter has a hab as well that will uh, that you can lie down in, and you can and it has a little sink and it has a little uh, kitchen area. But the Nomad's it's a pretty small vehicle. It has all these things. Uh, it's got a little shoilet. Um, I believe this is, I believe that's a shower up there. Um, there we go. Sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Okay, and then uh, it's got a little closet over here for your armors and your weapons and stuff like that. And these are the components over here. Um, little engineering space. Yeah, uh, it's got access to some of the other components. I believe they're right up here. Yeah, right there, component access. So you can access all of your components in this ship. That's pretty cool. Uh, it is, I feel like it is very space efficient. And we're going to get in the driver's seat. The important thing about being able to hold the ROC is that any vehicle that can hold the ROC, you can do some mining in, and you can make some space bucks. Let's see. Oh good, we got lucky. This is Haddonite. Night's pretty easy to mine. It's very stable. Um, it's got a fair amount of resistance. So 
So you got to be right up on it to do the mining. And of course, when you're right up on the minerals uh, and you're mining them, if they explode, they, they will explode in your face. So beware of that. Don't let it do that. But this is, it's nowhere near as tricky as mining um, Quantanium in the Prospector. And it's fairly, it's a fairly uh, productive enterprise as far as uh, getting credits for your time. I, I think it's a chill thing to do. You know, when you're not looking for something that's uh, life and death threatening that you can do but you still get to to get out you see see some cool scenery and you get to take in some sights blow them up with a laser you know spaceman stuff like some of them got thrown behind me I don't know where that last one went, but I am not getting it. So this was not a particularly big haul, um, but we did get to uh, do a little mining there. And I like to get into the third person perspective when I'm backing up, because I can. There we go. So this is a great use of the Nomad as a, a light mining vessel. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I forgot to turn the engines off. That's why those, uh, that vehicle's still rolling around. Okay, hit I. Yeah. Now it should be pretty solid in there. There we go, now it's not rolling around, and it should stay in there very well. Now normally if I were playing this, if I were doing a, a mining operation, and I wanted to, and I was doing it to, to make some credits, I would keep going, find some other uh, had night deposits and go let's see and I would go uh, mine them exploit them 
but as we are, I think we'll be just fine heading out, heading back to the Art Court mining area. And as you can see, the, uh, the vehicle does not fall off, even though it's exposed. Uh, because once it's on the cargo grid, then uh, it stays on the grid. That's the rule, right? Everything on the grid stays on the grid. Uh, when, as soon as it's loaded properly, it will stay where it's supposed to be. Now, this is not a real zippy craft. I am in atmosphere, so it's a little bit unfair, but I want to show you the kinds of uh, the kinds of g-forces I can get here. Um, I can get 5.4 g's starting out. Or I can get about 6.9, 5.9, uh, hard to read that. Oh no, that's that's all, about seven G's, six point nine. Yeah, going with all thrusters going at once. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, there's there's the mining area. Kind of just looks like another another rock from far away. Lower the landing gear. Landing gear engaged. Boom. Shutting off the engines just to be sure. And I should be able to sell directly to uh, let's just jump out Whee! mining control habitation don't think that's what we want. Uh, the Nomad has some nice little hover landing gear. It's pretty cool. Room for just a couple of missiles. And those are the missile bays. Um, it is not a fighter. There's a reason that I'm not taking it out to do any fighting. Uh, and that's because it's not particularly good at it. It's got some defensive weaponry. You can hunt very low threat bounties, regular low threat bounties. I would not hunt medium threat bounties with this thing unless you're really, really looking for a challenge. Um, yeah. You see that little small amount of Hadonite? That's 16,500 16 uh, AUEC didn't take us all that long and uh, there was very little risk involved so that's a pretty uh, a, a pretty uh, profitable thing to do okay it won't let us buy anything because we've got the rock on there um and then the, the, the ROC, the rock itself, is not a terribly big investment. I think it's like 100 and, it's like 180,000 for one of those. Or you can rent them.
And I believe this is the smallest vehicle that'll carry them. We'll take it off. Twenty-four. Twenty-four SCU of cargo space. So that's pretty good for such a small uh, small ship. We can load it up with 13,000 AUEC of Agrissium. And we probably make it like a thousand or so on, off of that deal. Um, so that's that's pretty good. You can. It's a nice exploration ship. It's a nice ship to uh, to look at the the verse with a lot of utility uh like i said not very good at space combat but that's about the only spot that it really um uh, doesn't do well in that said space combat's a very important part of star citizen so for most new players uh, unless they already unless you already know that you're not very interested in space combat i would recommend getting the aegis avenger titan it's roughly the same price as the Nomad, and it is a far superior fighter. It has room for a little bit of cargo, about a, it's a little uh, around a third of the cargo that the Nomad can carry, but um, uh, it is it is it is enough cargo to space to uh, to complete missions and to do cool stuff. This is the very smallest vehicle that I would uh, say can be used as a dedicated freighter. Uh, uh, anything smaller than this, uh, anything with less cargo space than this, is going to be like a courier vessel. And you'll have th the rest of the ships in its class. They'll have like four to seven SCU of cargo. Some of them even have two or three. And that's just, it's just not very much. It's not enough to really do anything. Um, at least with 24 SCU of cargo, you know, you can load it up with, uh, you could load it up with some illegal drugs and you could sell it at, sell those at a space station for an okay amount of cash um like i said um you not very good at fighting very good utility so if you are looking for a starter ship that has fine utility and lots of cargo space for its size and uh you don't you're not really all that interested in doing any space combat with it then I would recommend the ROC. Also, if you're interested in getting into mining with as small of an investment as possible, I totally recommend the Nomad. Uh, the uh, the Grey Cat Rock can fit in there, and you can do some mining, and it's it's pretty cool. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the Nomad, and I will try to answer them. Thank you very much. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.